Hey guys, what's going on? Colton with Wasatch Back Explorer here. I'm here to do a kind of a gear video right behind me of the things that I take when I go like winter backpacking, which right now is mostly hot tanning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go each piece just a little bit by a little bit, not in too much detail and not too many of the specs because offhand I don't know everything about my gear. So I'm going to just go over what I'm going to take this coming weekend on a hot tanning backpacking trip. And there's some things that I'm going to just go into more detail in, in like other videos because there's just too much in like a certain pack. So I'm just going to go over generally what I'm taking this weekend or most weekends when I'm going hot tanning. And even this won't change too much if I were to do like winter backpacking except for my shelter. For the most part, it's all gonna be this similar stuff. Just a few things may change depending on what I'm doing. So let's flip around and I'll show you what I'm gonna be taking. guys so I'm just gonna do a left to right kind of overview of everything so starting off right here I got the Gregory Baltoro 65 just got this pack it's a great pack um, it's nice because it is a 65 instead of the 50 liter which my Osprey is just to hold kind of this bigger bulkier gear that I have has a lot of great tie downs like on the bottom, a couple more pockets on like the outside and right here on the side. So that's my backpack. Um, right here I have the Nemo Switchback. This is just a short, uh, narrow insulating pad, which I use to go underneath my uh, Nemo Tensor. So that just helps when this is underneath, you know, you can kind of see, just keep like the core, my core, just a little bit um, warmer. And it's super light and it just kind of folds down. So I have that. Um, I just have my Fiskars um, folding saw here. I used to process my wood. My Husqvarna 20 inch small forestry axe. And the main, Part of this pack is my Black Orca or One Tigress Smoky Hut. This is an amazing tent for the budget. You for a budget option, you can't mess mess up going with this. This is a great tent, um, and it's a great option for the budget kind of side of things. All right, so here is my Seek Outside Titanium Stove. This is the medium version. Uh, so far it's a great stove. I've had a lot of fun with it and it's a good, you know, I got to do more testing, but it is great. Small. I can get it smaller than this, but I just choose to carry it in its pack as is until I can figure out something better. All right. So depending on where I go, depending on how much snow there is, depending on if I'm truck camping, I'll always take two one liter smart water bottles. Um, so yeah. That's pretty plain and simple there. Um, right here I have my Kiva um, backcountry porch. This is about a, about a two by four, just like sill nylon tarp. This is what I put underneath my pack and all my gear to keep it off the dirt and the mud and the snow. So that's what that is. Let's see, so right here, this is just a fire kit I built to always have with my hot tinning setup. So in here I've got matches. I've got some, let's see, some quick start. I've got a lighter, some of that fire start, um, like those shaved, like fire start stuff. I've got a fair serum rod. Um, and I think I've got, you know, a lighter and a couple other things. I'll go into this more maybe on my my trip. I'll go into what I have in this. And this is just as in a husky like tool tool bag so it works good not super light but you know I'm not going for weight if I'm you know 
truck camping or even winter backpacking because I'm not going to go that far or whatnot. Um, I just have my camera bag here. This has got some ND filters, my extra lens, my batteries, my cap, um, my cleaning uh, brush, and yeah, some mem memory cards if I need more. But uh, that's basically that. Then I got my drone. So this is a DJI Spark. And I did buy the kind of Warthog wrap for it. So it does have the Warthog wrap on it. I do carry the extra blades. And I have two batteries. So you guys have probably seen this. I use this quite a bit. And it is a ton of fun. So that's that. And I also carry um, my phone mount. And this is for in the hot tent. I can prop this up on the pole. And kind of use it to hold my phone and watch some movies. Because I usually just like to go out and relax and just chill. So I usually have movies on my phone. Um, Alright, let's go up here. So I always carry my firearm. Um, this is the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield. I do, depending on the trip, I either have like a drop leg holster or a hip holster. I always like swap it around, so I never know what I'm going to take, but I always have a holster and my firearm. That's just something I like to have. Okay, I have four hot hands. These are just, you know, kind of backup just in case. Um, these are a bunch of random stakes um, that I like to have for my tent. I'm trying to figure out a good way to um, tie down and guy out my tent right now. So I'm having a few extra and plus this tent has some in it. So I like to have those to keep the wind from blowing it around. I have about 50 feet of paracord, just extra. Um, this is the mount system for my uh, foam for this. So this is just a GoPro mount that wraps around the pole and then this attaches to the bottom of that to hold it upright. So that's what that is. So I can go there. I have my Garmin inReach. This is nice if I don't have service. Um, if I'm truck camping, usually I have service, but sometimes I don't. So that's always nice to have. Um, I have my Black Diamond Orbit um, lantern. This is awesome really enjoy it um, and it's really light and really small <sighs> let's see but speaking of lanterns I just got let me see if I can pull it out the Revel 30 foot um, which might call it uh, LED camp light so let me see if I can do this one-handed and so I'm bringing all my lanterns just to test out and kind of see which one I like better. So this one, as you can see, there's just a bunch of LEDs on this wire. And it runs off my battery pack. And so I got this because what happens is I usually don't end up, even in summer backpacking on my weekend trips, if I can pull this out, I don't end up using this battery pack pretty much at all if anything it just goes down one dot and so I figured if I'm taking this to charge my phone it'll also charge my camera and my inReach but if I'm use, taking this and all this weight I might as well use something that can also utilize this more and a lot better so this fit the bill and it was super cheap I think it was like 23 bucks and it's 30 feet so I can like string this in my tent you know, around camp or whatnot, and it'll run off this, and it says it'll, it says low draw, so I don't know, I'm testing that out, because I wanted to use this more and possibly get rid of these two, so this is another lantern that I kind of jerry-rigged, um, it kind of shines down, so I'm trying to see which one I like better, since it is a short, my next trip will be a truck camping trip this is not a lot of weight so I'm just trying to find out which one I like better but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up going with this all right so here is my first aid kit and I will actually 
Let me slide some of this out of the way. I will actually put a link up here on the screen um, of my first aid kit. And it hasn't changed too much. Um, this is a Kiva Outdoors uh, zipper pouch. And this is perfect for um, my first aid kit. Unfortunately, they don't make these anymore. Nor do they make the, the backcountry porch. The company kind of is in limbo right now or whatnot. It was actually made by Devin from Backcountry Exposure. It was his company, but they've kind of put that on hold for the time being. So hopefully they come back because these things are freaking awesome. I love these things. <sighs> Let's see what's next. Here's my hygiene kit. I always take this no matter what. It has a towel, some soap, some deodorant. Um... Uh, brush some uh, what is this body glide this just always comes no matter what it does have some more like summer stuff in it but for the most part I just take that no matter what um, I do have my black diamond yeah the storm so this is a black diamond storm I love this headlamp super bright if you guys can't tell I love like flashlights and lights I don't know why but anything that can put out a lot of light for like a little bit of power, like I'm all about it. So the Black Diamond Storm is pretty awesome. I love that it's 350 lumens. Love that. It's a great uh, headlamp. I'm actually looking at a couple budget options to review on this channel right now, which I will tell about in the future. Um, I am right now, this item is one of those... Uh, saws it's one of these chainsaws I'm actually going to try this out and see how it works I've never used one but uh, I figured I might as well give it a try so I'm going to bring that even though I do already have my saw right there so this is just of course toilet paper enough said this is my cook kit so let me just open this up um, so this is just a GSI soloist, I believe. So I have a bandana for cleaning up the kit. Um, I have some salt, some oil, a uh, fork and spoon. So let's see, what is this? This is pepper and Italian seasoning. Because I am planning on making a pasta dish. And this will be good to have. So yeah. That all is kind of in one kit right there. So that's that. And this is the C2 Summit 8-inch uh, pan that I just picked up. Haven't used it yet. Seems pretty good from what I can tell. So that is going to be exciting. This is my food bag. This is just in a granite gear uh, zip top bag. And I'll go more into what's for dinner and whatnot on the camp trip um so if i am going winter backpacking i do tend to take a lot of luxury items um this right here is just a walmart kind of fleece it's like a six by six fleece and i just like having this for like a pillow an extra like warm layer just something like actually real fabric because like a sleeping bag just I can't stand it so something actually like fabric really helps me get some good night's sleep um, right here I have gators sometimes I use those sometimes I don't um, those are actually pretty old and I'm looking to getting new ones in here is my sleeping bag uh, not my sleeping bag my sleeping gear I have my Patagonia uh, Capeline midweights which I take also on summer backpacking. Um, I have a mountain hardware fleece in here. I have some extra underwear and I have some wool uh, shortcut socks. So just the you know ankle height kind of thin socks because I don't like really heavy socks when um, sleeping. So as far as outer layers, um, it depends on the weather and you know, this is with backpacking with anything, you got to determine what the weather's going to be like. So, for us, it's going to be sunny. 
uh, high of like 35, low of like 25. So I'm not going heavy on the clothes. But depending on the weather, if it's going to snow, I'll have my Mountain Hardware Exponent 2 rain jacket for an outer layer. And I'll have some of my uh, Columbia rain pants. But because it's going to be sunny, I'm not too worried about it. I'll usually just wear um, just whatever pants I'm wearing that day. Usually like my cool um, Renegades or even I'm testing some actually some of Wrangler's outdoor pants which are actually super nice so it all depends and i don't have those here now because those change but as far as like warm layers this is what i take so this is my patagonia micro puff um, and i really really love this jacket um, it's really warm really light and it has a hood i'm a huge hood guy and i'll post that up here on screen of my review of that so that's that. And then brand new to the force is the cool, no, Q, no sorry, Kuyu uh, Peloton 240. And this thing is freaking awesome. I love this. This is so warm for like, a, just like a fleece. Super soft, super warm, super fitted, and it just keeps you really nice. And I love the color. So, that's that so last but not least for my sleep system so this is my summer sleeping bag the kelty cosmic down 20 degree and i also take another kelty cosmic down 20 degree so if i'm backpacking i'll take two of these and i'll just stuff one inside the other and i stay super super warm so that's a budget option if people don't want to go out and buy, you know, another um, sleeping bag. You can just stuff one inside the other, you know, one lesser bag outside of a better bag, you know, whatever you want. Um, so, yeah, that's what I use there. And I talked about my tensor. So, yeah, I think that's about everything. Um like I said, kind of with the clothes there, depending on what I'm doing, it'll change all of this. So you got to look at the weather, you got to look at where you're going, you got to look at the conditions, and it'll change the gear depending on what you have. Um, one thing that I don't have right here in front of me is just like a ground tarp that I have, and I've used like just 55 gallon trash bags. Um, for this trip, we will be truck camping, so I will be bringing like a big brown, just like regular home tarp for inside the tent. But if I wasn't, I would just bring like one of my ground sheets from my like pre-outdoor products tent, or just another one of my small like little tent tarps that I have. So that's that. Like I said, guys, this is all just um, situation dependent. So you got to kind of look at where you're going, look at what you're going to do, and determine the gear that you need. So, yeah, that's about that. All right, guys, so I hope that kind of helped you get an idea of what I usually take on um, winter camping trips and backpacking trips. Um, like I said, this gear always changes. I'm always evolving that's with anything like even my summer stuff i'm always like changing it and trying to get better um yeah if you guys have any questions on any of the gear or if you have any suggestions on like gear i could take gear i could swap out um you know new gear i would love to hear your comments um but yeah this is like basically summer but just with some bigger things like my stove and my tent there so yeah um I think that's about everything. So like I said, if you have questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you liked what you saw in this video, make sure and subscribe because there's a ton more videos coming out um, that I'm going to do just like this, just of like gear and of trips and whatnot. So make sure and hit that subscribe to stay in tune with what's coming. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.